So, I got pretty good news. We actually ended up passing our health inspection, and I was going to do the intro to the vlog um, down there, but today has just been a really busy day. Um, we didn't get to bed till like 3 a.m. last night. Um, we did just a whole bunch of cleaning, getting everything ready for the health inspection. And then it wasn't until about 3 a.m. till we went to bed, and then we had to get up at 8 a.m. to just make sure any last minute touches were done. And we passed. We got 100s on both the pool inspection and the kitchen inspection. And that is such a relief. You have no idea. Like I said yesterday, like, <clears throat> man, yeah. Yesterday I was mentioning that last year we didn't do our health inspection until the day of camp. So um, if we would have failed that health inspection, we wouldn't have had camp. And there was a lot of eyes on us to get that completed. We were just like having heart palpitations. We were so stressed. But this year, we've we've done the health inspection almost a good month in advance. No, maybe not a month, but getting close. Um, we have weeks where we can just breathe and just wait until the camp begins, and that is so nice. So um, if I say nothing else in this video about um, what I'm thankful to God for, I'm thankful that he gave us the ability to get that done and to pass because last year we were we were living on a prayer last year we were not sure if we were gonna make it um, I'm not sure how the lighting looks in here I have my uh, window open mainly because it can almost feel like a rave in here sometimes so I like to open the windows just for a change of scenery um, but I am actually going to sit my camera down and we're gonna talk about the format of this vlog. So I don't have a whole lot of time to really talk through this as much as I would like to. Um, I mentioned yesterday that we have a group that is coming today and I need to make sure that the facilities look a little bit more presentable with all the rain we've been getting and just everything. Things look a little rough so I need to go out there and I just need to leaf blow and mow some grass, stuff like that. So, um, I'm not sure how much time will be spent to talking about the format, but um, it's just something I wanted to put out there just so people know. So whenever I started planning this vlog, I wanted it to be as stress-free as possible because I knew that if I got overwhelmed or burdened by it or even just a little stressed by it, I'd just stop doing it. Um, and I don't want to stop doing it. I want to take daily check-ins of how I'm doing and just something to look back on one day and just to be nostalgic towards. I mean, the very title of this channel is Nostalgic Caleb, um, and one of the mottos I'm starting to key for myself is reflecting on good memories while making new ones. So the vlog is sort of a way to um, chronicle or take a record of what's going on in my daily life and just something to look back on one day and kind of just smile with friends and family. So. If I get overwhelmed or if I get stressed, I knew that I would probably just stop doing it. Um, so I developed a little bit of a format for myself um, to keep myself realistic as well as make it fun. So the first thing that I wanted to make sure is that I wasn't going to be stressed by video editing schedules. Um, so the way I plan to do this is to give me about a week buffer in between posting and filming or filming and posting however you want to say it so what that looks like is if I film today on the 16th you guys won't get this until a week from now which would be the 23rd um, now there's a good possibility that there may be a two-week buffer there may be a month buffer I still haven't posted anything at this point which is really funny because I started filming almost a week ago today so we're getting close. I'm looking at my calendar over there. Um, we're getting really, really close to that one week mark. And honestly, I don't think I'm ready to start posting. 
Um, so it may be a two week to a month buffer between when I'm filming and when I'm posting. What this allows um, is time for me to edit, you know. Now it only really gives me time to edit at the front end. So right now I have, I guess if I filmed six to seven episodes or six to seven vlogs, I have six to seven vlogs to post or edit, sorry. Um, so just to give you full transparency, I started filming on the 9th, I believe, and I've only edited one of the vlogs completely. So the second vlog is getting kind of close to completion, and then I suspect the rest will kind of come faster and faster. The second vlog, which has not been posted yet because I haven't edited it yet, um, it is a little bit more intricate. I'm trying new things with it to make it a little bit more interesting. So who knows um, whether it'll be a two week or a month buffer. I feel like if there's a month buffer, be a little bit too much of a gap between what's going on in Caleb's life and what's going on today. Today being, but I also don't know when I'm gonna launch the vlog. Part of me wants to launch it on June 1st. All of this is, you know, up in the air. We're trying to figure that part out. Now in terms of filming and editing the vlog, that kind of format, I just kind of film whatever I want, you know? If I don't want to film something that I feel is important, I'm not going to film it. For example, um, Rachel and I's anniversary will be coming up in a couple months. I don't think I want to spend the entire anniversary filming everything. As sweet as it would be to me um, to film everything, because that's how I get creative rest, that's how I, you know, get rejuvenated and have fun, it may not be fun for her. So if I see that it's taking away from, you know, our quality time. So when it comes to like, what am I filming? How am I editing? It, it really differs. Um, I try to think ahead of time what I'm going to do the next day, just to have an idea of what the vlog might look like. But there may be some days where I just don't have enough time to think it through. Um, for example, camp is coming up really soon, and when camp hits, I have no idea how busy we will be. I'm going to be working, I'm going to be a student, and I'm going to be helping with camp. I, I, who knows what my days will look like. Um, it will be a four-week period, so roughly 28 days, but you just, you never know. So, in terms of how I edit it, it's pretty self-explanatory. You see how I edit it, so... Um, I just throw everything into a timeline and tweak things and make things a little bit more appealing. Um, the initial thought was to not edit at all, just film what I want to film, leave out what I want to leave out, and put it all together and throw it out there. But that's, that's not as enjoyable for me. I really enjoy the editing process and the filming process and the whole thing. I wouldn't do it if I didn't. So I guess the main thing I wanted to get on here to talk about was the posting schedule, which I've already talked about a little bit. Um, I wanted there to be a buffer because if there's a buffer, I'm less likely to get overwhelmed with trying to edit the day it needs to go up. Um, now that could still happen if I let everything pile up, but the goal as of right now and in, into the foreseeable future is to have a two to three week, at most a month, buffer between filming and posting. And one of the things that has encouraged me to do this, um, there is a YouTuber by the name of Steven George, but he uh, his YouTube handle is like, I think it's Steven Vlog, I think. I've watched a good bit of him through the many years that he's been on the internet, and he posts pretty closely. There's days where he's trying to catch up and he'll post three vlogs a day to catch up on days he's missed. Um, and that's something I wanted to avoid. Um, so that's, that's kind of the idea. Now I can play catch up if I edit quick enough. If I'm like, you know what, I'm tired of this month buffer. I'm just going to post everything um, times a day. Just get it all out there and then we would be caught up. That's something I've thought about doing. So having the buffer instead of not having the buffer makes me more likely to be able to play catch up in the future 
rather than just getting overwhelmed and quitting altogether. But one of the things I've noticed with his vlog is I don't, there may be some people that watch his vlog the entire time. Every day they check in and they watch it. But for me, I would watch for a couple weeks, enjoy it, and then kind of forget about it because, you know, I have my own life. And then want to go back months or years later to see, you know, what all he's been doing. And then there's just such a treasure trove of content to watch. Um, so I suspect that my viewers will be doing similarly in the sense that they'll be coming in maybe later than... Nobody's going to be watching it, I don't think, from day one to the end. Um, so there will always be some content behind or there will always be some content for the viewer to go back and watch and that's kind of my hope for it um, now in the early days one two three the first three vlogs or so um, there's really not a whole lot to catch up on but say someone comes in on like day 700 they have 699 other vlogs they could go watch so that's that's kind of the dream for that. But another thing about this channel is it's not just gonna be a vlog channel. Um, my hope and my ideal posting schedule would be seven vlogs a week, um, of course with that backlog, um, or that buffer, sorry, having that buffer of like, yeah, I filmed these a few weeks ago, but here's consistent posting of one video that is a vlog a day for seven days a week and then having one major um, higher quality video that I put together posted on like a Friday or a Saturday. That's a whole lot more, you know, intricate in terms of editing um, and doing that once a week as well. So having technically eight videos on the channel a week. It's a lot of videos, but the vlogs are pretty mindless. They don't take a whole lot of work. So I wanted to dedicate myself at least one big video a week. And I can do that with that. Some of those videos might include reacting to old videos I have on a hard drive that I'm looking at right now. There's over two terabytes of videos from my high school years. Um, I found videos of me um, at the ripe age of nine and 10 and 11 those I thought were lost to the world but I found them so that has to go back on the internet they used to be on the internet but I deleted them because of predators but there's just such a treasure trove of content that I've um, been planning out for quite a while now and I'm really excited to put it out on the internet the vlog is just a way to keep me accountable um, daily filming the more I film the more accountable I'll keep myself to being like, hey, you know, you haven't edited anything in a couple days, but you, you maybe it's because you haven't been filming anything. If I'm filming, I'm more likely to be editing. I just get distracted by all the passions of life, you know. I got video game systems. I got hobbies, swimming, fishing. I have all kinds of other things. But if I'm out there filming myself doing the hobbies, I'll always have something to come back and edit. And that is something that was big for me because it brings me creative rest. And I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I've always wanted to do it since I was a kid. And I'm really excited that I get to do it now. So I don't think I'm going to film anything else for the day. I think that's it. Just talking about the format of the vlog. It'll make more sense whenever everything's starting to get posted. If you notice that, um, well, I guess this video won't come out until a week minimum of the first video. But if you're watch, it should be it should be pretty self-explanatory. If you're watching the vlog and you're like, "Hey, this happened a month ago," are you gonna catch up? I may or may not. The point of this format video is just to give you a little insight on why I'm posting two, three, or four weeks after filming it. Because um, I'm just I don't want to sit here and spend you know every waking moment editing when I can you know schedule out some time to edit um, and not have to worry about being behind on the vlog I'm purposefully putting in that buffer so that I can have that time with all that being said that is all I got today I have got to do some leaf blowing weed eating mowing and I only have so much sunlight so 
I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I cannot wait to go back and rewatch these and just look back 10, 20 years from now on these vlogs. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you back tomorrow. God bless.